By now we all know about Tavi. How about Tammy? Transapical mitral implantation of the tiara bioprosthesis. And we have preclinical results that are published uh, very rapidly uh, online at Jack Interventions to coincide with a paper being presented here at TCT 2013. We have with us today Dr. Shmuel Benay, and he is the Director of Interventional Cardiology and the Medical Director of NeoVasc, which is uh, doing this particular work with the uh, with something called the tiara. Can you show it to me? What, what, what is this first off? Yes, this valve, the tiara, is a nitinol self-expanding valve. Uh, it's a bioprosthetic valve, and it's implanted via a 32 French delivery catheter through the apex of the heart. It just opens up and fits into the mitral apparatus, which is uh, much more complex than the aortic arena. This has a saddle shape. It's a D-shape valve. And it's supposed to, it was designed to fit the, this complex anatomi, uh, anatomical configuration, the 3D configuration right. of the mitral apparatus. It was designed to hold the, um, uh, the stresses that, are, uh, that it's going to withhold within the uh, high pressure gradient between the left ventricle and the left atrium. And so far we have tested it in... Uh, three preclinical models, in the acute animal model, in the long-term animal model, and in human cadav ca cadaveric model. And it all, uh, this, this is the paper that is going to be pub published in Jack Intervention today. Right. And we describe in this paper, in this manuscript, the results. We show some nice pictures of the very good results, very encouraging results of this uh, preclinical series of experiments. Now, what kind of follow-up do you have in the animals, and what kind of r response is there to this device? We keep the animals up to 150 days, which is uh, a long time, and we have all the follow-up you need. We have echocardiographic follow-up, clinical follow-up, angiographic follow-up, pathological follow-up, uh, endoscopic follow-up, uh, and it looks great. It looks very nicely seated, very well anchored, uh, the leaflets are pliable, and the functionality of the valve af after 150 days is perfect. Now, in terms of doing the procedure, is it tricky for the cardiologist? You have to learn it. Uh, it's not trivial, uh, but it's very doable. We're right now in the process of training the two teams that are going to do the first-in-men cases. So we. Who are where? Uh, the, first, uh, the first cases will be done in Vancouver, Canada, in St. John's Hospital by Anson Chang. He is the primary operator over there. And uh, alongside, we will do it also in Antwerp, uh, Cardiovascular Center by Stefan Verhey, who will be the leading physician. So we have an car interventional cardiologist in Belgium and a cardiac surgeon in Vancouver. Uh, so we... we um, anticipate that this procedure will be done by whoever is doing most of the interventional cases, transapical interventional cases in each center. It can be done by a surgeon as a leading operator or by interventional cardiologist. By the team, the team will be of both. We will need both a cardiac surgeon and an interventional cardiologist who will work as a team together with uh, an echo expert who will lead uh, by, by, uh, by the echo guidance, uh, lead the, the implantation. Well, the guidelines in the U.S. have certainly shown that with TAVI, it's a team approach. That's what works best. So it would make perfect sense that with this TAMI, it would be, an, again, a team approach. It will be a team approach. It must be a team approach. In TAVI, there are centers like my center at the Tel Aviv Medical Center. Only interventional cardiologists do it without the surgeons. But it's simpler. This is more uh, complex because the mitral valve is much more complex than the aortic valve. Oh, yeah. It's not just a round calcified orifice. It has a lot more to it. And that's why this, 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 the, the valve is more complex. The design of the valve is more complex. Uh, and the implantation is a little bit more tricky. It has to be learned, but uh, it can easily be learned by if you have a good teacher. Right.
<laughs> and uh, this will be getting underway after the first of the year, you think? Yes, we hope that by the beginning of the year we'll do the first in men. Right now we are working on training the teams. Well, for the paper itself on the preclinical results of Tammy in this particular case, I do encourage you to go to Jack Interventions and get the paper and download it. It's a very good read. For Cardiosource World News, I'm Rick McGuire.